Branding, a term often tossed around in business conversations. But what does it truly mean? When we talk about branding, we're discussing the process of crafting a robust, positive perception of a company, its products or services in the customer's mind. This is achieved by integrating elements such as a unique logo, a thoughtful design, a compelling mission statement, and a consistent theme across all marketing communications. Take Apple, for instance. Their branding is a masterclass in effective perception shaping. Their sleek design, combined with their consistent messaging of being at the forefront of innovation and delivering high-quality products, has resulted in a powerful brand. Their logo alone sparks thoughts of cutting-edge technology and luxury without a word being spoken. This is the power of branding. It's not just about a logo or a tagline, it's about crafting a narrative, a story that a company tells to the world. So in essence, branding is the story a company tells to the world shaping consumers' perception and their decisions. And now that we understand what branding is, it's time to delve into its power and influence. Branding is a potent tool in the business world. It's the magic wand that differentiates a company from its competitors, allowing it to carve out a unique space in the market. Think about it like this. In a sea of sameness, effective branding is the lighthouse guiding customers to your shores. Take Starbucks, for example. There are countless local coffee shops around the world, each offering a warm cup of joe. But Starbucks's branding has created a promise of a consistent, high-quality coffee experience, no matter where you are. This isn't just about the coffee. It's about the ambiance, the service, the familiarity. It's about walking into a Starbucks in New York, Tokyo, or Paris, and knowing exactly what you're going to get. This powerful branding has allowed Starbucks to charge premium prices because customers aren't just buying coffee, they're buying an experience, a feeling of being at home. Then there's Coca-Cola, a company that's been quenching our thirst for over a century. But Coca-Cola's branding goes beyond its signature red and white logo or its secret recipe. They've created an emotional connection with customers, a sense of shared joy and unity. Remember their Share a Coke campaign? It was a stroke of branding genius. By simply adding names to their bottles, Coca-Cola made their product personal, something to be shared with friends and loved ones. Suddenly, buying a Coke wasn't just about getting a drink, it was about creating a moment of connection. In both these examples, branding has elevated the product, transforming it into something more than just a commodity. It's created loyal customers, willing to pay a premium for that unique experience or emotional connection. Branding, therefore, is not just about getting your target market to select you over the competition, but about getting your prospects to see you as the sole provider of a solution to their problem. It's about creating value, building relationships, and ultimately, driving business success. To wrap things up, let's summarize what we've covered about branding. Branding, at its core, is the process of shaping consumer perception through a cohesive and compelling narrative. It's the heartbeat of your business pulsating to the rhythm of your company's values, vision, and mission. Branding has the power to create loyal customers. It's like a magic spell that, once cast, can make customers fall in love with your products or services and keeps them coming back for more. Think about Apple, Starbucks, and Coca-Cola. These brands have mastered the art of consistent themes, allowing them to charge premium prices. They've created a world where their brand is not just about the product, but an experience, a lifestyle. Remember, a strong brand acts as a powerful tool to carve your unique identity in the crowded marketplace, and it's the bridge that connects a business to its customers. So, how will you tell your story?